a lot of objects that surround us are built out of electronic components connected through a wire network. This network is called an electronic circuit. Nowadays, we want all our accessories to run faster and to be more powerful. The consequence of this demand is a rise in the complexity of electronic circuits. To give an example, a cutting edge microprocessor circuit that is the beating heart of a computer is made out of billions of components. Building up such a circuit is like doing a 50,000 piece puzzle, solving a Rubik cube in two seconds. We humans are not good at this, but computers are. When it comes to arduous tasks, our huge advantage as humans lies in our ability to simplify things into abstract concepts and draw up plans to communicate with others. The research team I'm working in has developed a process to help engineers to build electronic circuits. This process involved the engineers designing a model of the circuit that is a simplified view of the actual circuit. Next, a computer automatically transforms the circuit, the model, into a real electronic circuit. That's when all the puzzle making happens, and this is why I call it the Rubik Cube phase. What's at stake here in the Rubik Cube phase is to get the correct compiling of the circuit. Why is this important? Because all these circuits will end up in planes, trains, cars, medical devices, and so on. When my team developed this process, they were afraid of one thing, to hear on the news of a plane crash, only to realize that the problem had come from the landing system. And the faulty circuit was the result of a failure in the Rubik cube phase. So if we want engineers to continue to use this process, can we prove that we will always get the expected circuit out of the Rubik cube phase? That's the question my thesis seeks to answer. The Rubik cube phase is performed by a computer program. We are not able to apply mathematical reasoning on the program to prove that in the end, the Rubik cube phase has or has not in fact built the right circuit. My research discovered that indeed, in certain cases, the Rubik cube phase wasn't building the proper circuit at all. We found out what was wrong and came up with a process that is 100% safe. So the next time you take a plane, you can sit back and relax. It's safe landing from here on in.